Welcome to the demo of Event Gallery 3. Um, this time I will present you the uh, new backend. So the first thing of course we have to do is we have to log in. Next we switch to the component and the first thing you will notice on Event Gallery 3 that there is no overview page. Um, the blue buttons uh, indicate the uh, most important options like the documentation so if you have any question about how the component works and what are all the uh, configuration options are doing just hit the documentation button and you will find a list of um, menu items which might help you out um, before we we go to the three buttons at the top uh, let's move to the six on the on the bottom of the page um, event gallery 3 um, includes a new card and checkout um, process and for this pro process you can uh, configure a lot of things like if you have your own workflow for managing your orders then you can set it up using the order statuses like you have three different statuses like one for the order one for the shipping and one for the uh, payment method um, those tiny uh, logs mark that you can't remove those system uh, basically system managed um, shipping methods and payment methods but you can add your own and of course for the um, um, for the order you can define your own statuses too like new cancelled in process whatever you want if you want a new status then just hit the, the new button and you will get a form where you can enter the necessary data like my new status um, you can choose the type and that's a display name um, just to mention it if you have a system with multiple locales like uh, the EDE German language for example in addition then you will get two different uh, input fields one for the English language and one for the German language that's it and now we have our custom one so actually we get use this by making this the default one and of course we can remove it again um, the next uh, thing on our list are of course you can have different sort charges for your for your order by default this is empty I already created one um, just have a look at this um, you can make a default with the star you can disable and enable it you can sort it if you have more than one and let's look at the details it's pretty simple um, you have of course a display name you have can have a description you can have the, uh, the text settings text rate it's a value between 0 and 100 percent um, then you have a price for example if your order is less than 50 euro then you will have to pay uh, two euro in addition um, those rules can be set up in the configuration tab currently um, there is only one sort charge type available which um, offers you the uh, settings for the minimum subtotal and the maximum subtotal with this setting you currently see uh, the sort charge will apply if the um, if the subtotal is between 0 and 50 uh, euro next thing is um, of course we can define shipping methods somehow our products have to reach our customers of course um, there are three no actually there are two different um, shipping method types available one is the email type which is used if you only have want to sell digital um, items and one is the normal standard shipping method you can create as many um, shipping methods as you like you have three uh, two different types uh, currently available and that's it let's have a look at one of uh, those shipping methods basically you can uh, select the type which is only possible during the creation you can give it a name which um, should mean something to you it will not be displayed in the front end uh, it will have a display name and a description ignore the data this is um, for later editions and 
takes rate in price and default and published and so on. No rocket science. And the last thing which is important for the checkout is of course the payment method. Um, out of the box um, you will have the standard payment method which is actually just a template for creating um, those two payment methods like there is no processing behind it it's just that in the front end there is a payment method displayed in the drop down box and you have the uh, paypal plugin which has additional configuration options um, of course payment methods can have a price like e uh, paypal for example is kind of expensive so you might want to add uh, a little bit to the uh, subtotal yeah, to set up the order statuses and all the methods for the uh, checkout you need to define your products and basically those are the image types um, here we have one two three six different um, image types image types can be basically uh, prints in different sizes and qualities maybe it's the uh, the cup which you want to print with a f which where you want to print a photo on and um, this kind of stuff and of course you can have um, just digital copies like copies you want to send over on a DVD or just by email and if it's just by email then um, there is a special setting like this is digital for example in this case it's a 20 megapixel image it's digital it has a price and so on and if it's digital then you can only ship it with the, the email uh, shipping method yeah, and digital items are marked with those tiny um, um, symbol here. Um, once you have defined all the different products you want to offer, you can bundle them in so-called image typeset. That means, for example, imagine you have a wedding where you want to sell um, premium quality high priced items. Um, then you can define an uh, image set of expensive images and for example, if you just want to sell your holiday pictures to your friends, then you can create a bundle for cheap images. And if we move over to the, uh, to the events, then you will see that for each event, you can choose a different uh, image type sets. That means you can sell images from one event differently than images from another event. But at first we move to the orders view. Of course, if orders are coming in, you want to do a lot of things with them. You can sort them, um, you can search them, um, whatever you like. Um, and of course you have a short summary of the uh, order here. You have the order status, like this one is new, not paid and not shipped. So it's brand new and I have to do something with it. Let's do it. Um, imagine the, uh, the guy who ordered this already paid. So I can set this um, order to the paid status. Um, keep in mind that all those statuses you see here are customizable. That means you can add your own statuses here. And of course you have all the information about the order here. Um, this section um, I personally use to um, f as basically an import for a script which then transfers the images from the source folder uh, to, I don't know, my um, preferred printing service. Yeah, that's it. So that's um, the back end for the cart and checkout. And basically the most important um, management tool, uh, which this components offer is of course the management of the images. Um, where other components might have folders, um, I call them events because you shoot an event, you upload it and you upload images for this event. So those are the events. Um, you can sort them wherever you like. You can see uh, how many comments uh, an event has. You can unpublish them. You can make them cartable, which means they are people can buy them in the front end. You can upload images. Uh, you can have a look at the um, image event. And yeah, and with those images, of course, you can set uh, a title. And the description, whatever, hit save, and then you have your custom title and description for your image, which is displayed uh, in the front end. And yeah, 
of course you can um, unpublish this uh, this image you can allow or disallow comments for it you can make it the primary image for this gallery and you can choose that this image is not part of the normal image list that means you can have a special primary image for your event this is useful for example if you have a password protected event and you don't want to um, don't want to display one of the actual images of the event but you want to display a kind of placeholder then you can just hit the star and um, um, uncheck this uh, show as list item and then you have your um, special dedicated primary image for your event kind of useful and of course you can order the images whatever you want let's close this view um, basically the last thing you can do here is you can edit the event uh, itself means you can um, set a folder name uh, be very careful with this don't add any special characters or something like this to it because the name which you see here is then the name where the folder is created in the file system so if you add any special characters this uh, might end up in errors um, if you have a Picasa album then just do it like this add the user ID um, then put the ad in here and then the album ID if it's protected with a Picasa key then add this key somewhere here you can put you can protect your event with a password so if people um, try to access this event they have to enter a password you can also and this is a new feature um, in event gallery 3 um, say okay I want to have this event only available to a special user group and keep in mind you can create as many user groups as you like and you can create uh, you can assign as many users to those user groups you can add tags like this for example is um, I shall do this this for example is my is a travel um, album and I add two text just for the testing purpose uh, you have a description and this description is what is shown in the in the front end and of course you can have have a text here and if you want to have an intro text like which is shown in the events list just use the uh, the read more and do it and then you will see the um, the intro text on the event list and the full text um, if you access the uh, event directly yeah and not to forget about this image set uh, we saw that we have two images defined in the system right now and you can select one of them so for example my travel images i want to sell cheap and the others um others tab is currently for um, managing the um, the social sharing options for this event separately so you can turn the social uh, media sharing on globally so every event can be shared or every image of every event can be shared to facebook or whatever and for special events you just want to turn it off like you don't want the people to download your image directly or whatever and that's something you can do in this tab right at the event yeah let's let's save this and once you you entered uh, tags here of course you can then uh, use the the filter to filter this list um, by a special tag and a special type of course you can uh, say okay just show me local images or Google Picasa images or whatever that's also new in, in event gallery 3 and will work and that's important just for Joomla 3 all the other things I showed you are working for both versions uh, but the filters are just available in um, Joomla 3 yeah, that's it that was a quick tour through the uh, backend of the event gallery 3 and i hope it was interesting for you thanks